my darlings and welcome to vlogmas day two and also the day of my 30th birthday i've never included my birthday in vlogmas before but um i really wanted to film this year and i wanted to also as you know film a few days two or three days in advance ahead of vlogmas just to give myself that little bit of breathing time throughout december because i did the same last year and it was it was great. It meant that the pressure was off for those super quick video turnarounds. So I'm doing the same again this year. That little label needs a snipperoo. So yes, today is my actual birthday. I thought I'd bring you along for the day. We have got some lovely things going on. Um, Charlie and I are just about to head over to Soho Farmhouse for brunch. So I thought I would show you my outfit of the morning. This entire outfit is Freddie My Love inspired. <laughs> While I was drying my hair this morning, I'm sorry Freddie, I wasn't actually listening to the video, but I was watching it. Um, I was using the Dyson Airwrap and you just can't hear YouTube videos <laughs> over the top of it. So I thought I'll watch Freddie's latest outfit video and then at least I can look at the outfits. So she wore pretty much this exact thing in one of her clips and it is a white, polo neck top and then I've got on my just off white cashmere cape from Merta, my lovely Burberry scarf which is Luisa Roma, Mulberry bag, um, theory wool, I think they're wool trousers, they're nice and warm and then my boots from LK Bennett so lots of nice layering bits. Um, and then later on today, I'm going to have to get a lot, lot warmer dressed up because we're actually heading to the Christmas lights at Blenheim Palace and then dinner near there as well. So it's going to be a really lovely day. When I last spoke to you, I left you um, with some floral installation updates because we had the lovely Charlie here um, installing some amazing bits and they are now all done. It's not a particularly bright and sunny day but I'm going to show you them anyway because they are truly spectacular and you might just be able to see one of them here behind me. I've turned the lights off so you can get a better view but we decided to add this fantastic very natural installation into the um, chandelier I guess you could call it from our, from our um, hallway and She's created the most beautiful cascading effect. We've got these deep crimsony purple hydrangeas which are drying out perfectly all throughout the floral installations in the house. Um, it trails down just so beautifully. There's some, what are they called, catkins? They're a really nice structural piece. We've got some eucalyptus. We have got some uh, pink peppercorns and then even the limes as well to really tie it in with the other features. It just looks absolutely gorgeous. The lighting is really not doing this justice at the moment, but we also have this gorgeous installation down here at the bottom of the stairs. It trails onto the floor just so naturally. Again, we've got the same bits running through, the dried hydrangeas, eucalyptus. Um, oh, I can't remember the name of these white flowers. The pink peppercorns, and then it just finishes really naturally up at the top here. It looks so gorgeous. Was, was this finished when I last showed you yesterday? This, oh my gosh, I can't actually decide if it's this or the archway outside, which is my favorite, but this is what I was the most excited about and I'm so, 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 so happy with this. We have got the most fantastic, it looks like a magical forest wonderland um, creation over our stone fireplace, which just looks magical. There's some really festive berries in there. Again, the dried hydrangeas. I think I'm gonna to wanna to do this every year. It looks so wonderful. Obviously we have, um, we had family over at the weekend to celebrate my birthday and we've got friends coming over on Saturday, which you guys will hopefully see. If I don't manage to film that much on Saturday, I might. <laughs> Sorry, I'll turn around and talk to you properly. Yeah, I think because I've given myself that little bit of flexibility vlogmas wise, if I don't end up filming that much on the day of my party, then I'll probably just add it on to the end of this vlog so that there's not too much birthday content in vlogmas but we'll see we shall see i'm not setting any rules um but i have another really amazing festive edition to show you in the entrance hall and it is our window seats wonderful caroline the upholsterer that lives in the village um these are obviously very very much double red duke inspired we were 
so blown away by how they matched more contemporary pieces with such an old building at the Double Red Duke and these really squishy um, window seats. They had something very similar to this at the Double Red Duke, both in colour and in plumptiousness. So we've got them here and we are also getting um, a curtain in this area here. So it's really going to add a lot of fabric and softness to the entrance hall. And then the uh, bookcase has been pulled out because Charlie's organised Darren, the electrician, to come over later today. And he's putting the lamps in, is that right? Yeah, so he's going to, we're going to put the new lights up in that hallway. Mm -hmm. um, and then he's going to, if you come and look here. Oh, two seconds. I just wanted to show. Um, the window seats in here, they just, I mean, that looks so inviting. It's like a giant plump marshmallow. So, so comfy because at Christmas and for my party day, um, we are going to have probably quite a few people here. So it's nice to have spots for people to perch in the window. I have been loving watching Christmas films in here. It's been getting really cozy in the evenings. Charlie and I have been popping Christmas films on every night with the fire lit. We haven't got the tree lights on because we're about to head out. Um, but yeah, basically we're getting the lights wired into the bookcase and that'll be done by the time we get home. Some of my birthday cards that arrived this morning. <laughs> Most of them either sausage dog themed or sparkly. So everyone has chosen the perfect cards. Excuse me. That was a very loud yawn, my little stinky stinky. You got really bad breath this morning. Don't you brush your teeth these days? And then we have a carrot cake baked by Charlie's mum, which I might demolish all by myself later on. Who knows? I will show you a few more of my lovely gifts later on, but something that Charlie... Uh, no, sorry, did you buy me this or did Dexter buy me this? Dexter did. Ah, something that Dexter very kindly bought for me for my birthday was this very bougie... Sorry about the barking in the background, they are having a mad moment. Um, very bougie, Jonathan Adler nonetheless, sausage dog Christmas tree porcelain charm. So I'm going to add it, of course, to our sausage dog tree. It needs to be very visible. I'll pop it up here. Um, no, that's not visible enough. Where can I put it? Maybe in here? So that it's at eye level. <laughs> yes, I will excuse the clothes on the bed. I will show you a few of my gifts from Charlie and Lilla and family um, later on. But before we go, I'm going to add on my finishing touch to my outfit. And this is a very extravagant and... Um, fabulous gift that I treated myself to. It is a Cartier watch. It's a real, it's a real blowout. It's really, really special and it is something that I thought long and hard about. It's something that I will literally wear for the rest of my life and I think it is the most elegant watch that I have ever seen in my entire life. It's so beautiful. I've never had like a watch before. Not like a really special one that I want to wear every day. So I thought 30th birthday, it's a big year, I will treat myself. And I say I've bought this myself. Um, my wonderful mama, Lala, actually also helped me out with this purchase and her contribution enabled me to upgrade to the diamond version. So the diamonds are from Lala and the rest of the watch is from me to me. So could not love it any more. Thank you, Lala. And um, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Josie. <laughs> right, let's go and get some brunch. Now, I can't actually remember if I did show you this in daylight yesterday after it was finished, but here is our spectacular archway. A mixture of foraged bits, including the teasels, we've got berries, eucalyptus, lots of different firs and ferns, the clusters of the limes as well, and it perfectly frames the lantern up at the top there. Again, this is definitely something I'd love to do every year. I mean, it wasn't wasn't cheap, but I'm just so thrilled with how this looks. So just as we head out to the farmhouse, I can show you one of my wonderful gifts from Char. Char knew how upset I was that my actual greenhouse is not going to be built in time for my growing season next year. And you found this on Antigua website? No, this is from Burgess Reformation. You're kidding! No, so, I, so basically he shared a story a couple of months ago. <laughs> and you were like, one, and shotgun? And I was like, can you get me one for your birthday? <gasps> and he actually sped up the... So I think he picked up ten of them. No, there's four. Wow. He's got four more. 
he picked them up and he's got I think he's going to have some made now goodness but he picked four of these up I think this is the number five wow um, and rushed them back from the Netherlands for oh me. my gosh but also we were really lucky because the Netherlands went into lockdown <gasps> So he got it back just in time. So this is essentially a Victorian cold frame. Um, and it means that I can grow my little bits and bobs. It's got shelves in there. It obviously needs, 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 needs a good clean old clean up. up. Um, but obviously he's, they've, they've resealed parts of it. Mm -hmm. So it should be in perfect working order. It's just gorgeous. I, I can grow my little tomatoes. I can grow my broad beans. Look, it's fantastic. I might even put just some more shelves down at the bottom there. Yeah. Well, Gosh, I, th I just thought it red at one point. I, I just thought there were obviously I found some other ones actually that weren't quite as antique looking, mm -hmm. that were still lovely but were a lot bigger. All oh, right, you would have cared for because there's a yeah, you which you would have fitted more in, but then we would have been buying something to then have to get rid of it when we get the greenhouse. Because with this, we can like use it um, outside the side of the kitchen in the future. Yeah. I think over there, I think it, yeah, in I'm the just, courtyard. I just area. thought you sorry. In the courtyard area. Yeah, I just thought you'd be able... And also, you can grow whatever you want, maybe start it in there. Yeah. Because I reckon that will get a lot hotter than the greenhouse, because it's smaller. Yeah. So maybe you can start seeds in there, I don't It'd know. It'll be good for my things like um, chilies and, yeah, loads of stuff. Yeah, and it's on wheels, which is good. I mean, it's hard work moving it, but we can. Yeah. Thank cool. you, darling. You snuck that in yesterday without me noticing. Yeah. <laughs> Of course, I have to get my birthday mac and cheese, one of the best in the game at the farmhouse, and Charlie is being super healthy. That looks like quite a well-cooked salmon. Looks okay. Yeah. What do you mean? Oh, is it meant to be that brown? Mm. I don't know. I think like it's because they char-grilled it afterwards to give it the flavour. Yes. So the mac and cheese at the farmhouse is made with Gruyere, so it's extra stringy. Look at that. Oh, yes. Cauliflower cheese with Gruyere works well, doesn't it? Yep. Back home again from our farmhouse brunch that was very very lovely and exceptional mac and cheese and I even had a little birthday cake and candle as well from the kitchen and we arrived home to not one but two flower boxes from Wild at Heart. I don't know who these are from, but from the little sneak peek in here, they look rather gorgeous. So let's open these up and see who sent us flowers, Dexie. Who sent these, my little girl? Who sent these? They're not for you, they're for mummy. At least I think they are. I think they are. It's not for puppy dogs. Wishing you a wonderful 30th birthday and a magical year ahead. Enjoy all your celebrations, Mel, Amy, and all at Cordley. How magical. Aww. Gosh, how absolutely spectacular are these? Just the most beautiful, delicate pink roses. These always remind me of Edelweiss, they are definitely not Edelweiss, but I always think they look a little bit like it. Absolutely stunning. I think potentially their wax flower. Absolutely gorgeous. Totally spoiled. Thank you so much to the girls at Cordely. Okay, a quick outfit change into something super snuggly warm. I have got on my Max Mara cashmere jumper dress from last year, my Monavine faux fur coat which is the snuggliest coat that I own and then I've got on still the Burberry scarf which I've tucked in with my Gucci belt and same LK Bennett boots and then I have got my Burberry bag just stuffed to the brim with cosy layers, my bobble hat and gloves from Knitwear Queen um, because it could get a little bit chilly later on. at Blenheim Palace. We're all snuggled up in our warmest coats. Uh, this little area is like a fairground, um, little 
food store kind it of area. Amazing. It smells good. Roasted chestnuts on an open fire. Coffee and crepes. Mm, kind of coffee. Um, and I think the inside is nutcracker themed this year. So we've got our wristbands. We're going to have a little look inside. I've not been inside the party for a view. I have. Because I, I came here for the light show the first time, which you was about three years ago. You did, yeah. And it was impressive, actually. I don't know if it was nutcracker themed or... I've maybe it was not. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know, but we're going to go in and then we can walk around for the epic light show outside. So I don't think they did this before, but this year they've got a Christmas market, these little chalets with all. Wow, Charlie, you monopolies. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, and proper old school. Um, Looking glasses, awesome. dog whistles, <laughs> or any kind of animal whistles. My goodness, what treasures! Pretty sausages. Great name. Garlic plate. <gasps> Charlie, look at all the nutcrackers. Wow, that's rather magical. Cream cheese. Even though we had a massive mac and cheese not long ago, I think we're gonna get a slice of pizza to keep us keep us going. First time inside the palace. Charlie's already spotted the porter's chair. How big's your handbag? <laughs> Not quite that big, darling. Wow. Nigel's got nothing on this fella. My yes. goodness. Almost Russian. Russian. Now that's how you decorate a Christmas tree. Nigel, what are you doing here? Here quicker than we get. Nigel. Two years ago, two years ago, we still lived in Clapham yep. and had no sort of immediate plans to be moving. No. <laughs> now here we dinner reservation at a place called Killingworth Castle. Just meandering our way round to the front. You're kidding! My goodness. And this is the same owners as the Ebrington Arms near us. So it should be a good one. Good morning my darlings. It is now Saturday morning. It is 
the day of the party <laughs> and as you might be able to see it is currently snowing not that this snow is probably going to stick around because it is quite wet on the floor of the patio out there and on the lawn but it's officially snowing I think this is actually the first time it's ever snowed within Vlogmas before and as of the day of filming we're actually still in November so I don't ever remember snow in November before so this is quite the unusual weather. This little bunny always gets very excited by the snow. It's getting heavier. It's getting heavier and starting to settle. Oh, yay! Oh, the weather outside is frightful. But the fire is so delightful. <laughs> oh, am I boring you, chicken nugget and chips? today. Um, I am fresh out the shower. I had my Philip Kingsley elasticizer in my hair for a good half an hour before showering. Um, I used a nice hair mask. I had my By Terry glowing rose face mask on um, and I did fake tan last night. So, and I've actually just put another layer on. I'm using the Bondi Sands Ultra Dark Self Tanning Lotion. I haven't properly fake tanned in a while, but I think I've prepared properly. So hopefully it will be all good. Um, I'm actually heading to Dalesford now for lunch with Lilla. I think this is always part of the plan to get me out of the house while Charlie gets a few things ready. Did I mention today is party day? <laughs> very, very exciting. Um, so hopefully there's not too much snow on the roads to get to Dalesford. I don't want to have to redo my makeup later, so I'm actually just not going to put any makeup on to go to Dalesford. I have been misting my face over the last few days with this, which is without doubt the best tanning spray for the face that I've ever, ever tried. It is also the most expensive I've ever tried, but if you aren't particularly on a budget or you just want the best fake tan for your face. This lighting is not really doing it justice. Um, it's very blue, kind of cold morning light with snow on the roof reflecting in. But this is the Oscia Adaptive Tan Mist, triphase self-tanning water with vitamins, amino acids, peptides, etc. And I've always, always, always said that this is the best for fake tanning your face. So that's what I have been misting myself with. Um, and hopefully it'll look good later. Just putting on my birthday watch. Oh, no, I do wear it on my left hand. I have unfortunately quite severely snapped a couple of my nails. It's almost like broken. You won't be able to see, but this one is quite badly broken and so is my thumb on this side, which is very annoying. So I think what I might do is just pop some, um, what do you call it? I'm lost for words clear nail varnish on top and hopefully that will kind of bond it together. I'm just looking for my Monica Veneda ring. Where is it? I'm really loving, you can see I couldn't actually get it off yesterday when I was putting my fake tan on. I'm loving wearing this ring from Monica Veneda and I kind of feel like it kind of goes with my watch. Um, this one's also Monica Veneda and then I'm going to pop on this lovely sparkly one from Astrid and Mew as well. Right, I'm gonna pop my footwear on, probably grab a big hair bubble and um, head to Dalesford. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is without doubt the most incredible, extravagant floral delivery I think this house has ever seen. Hello, Dexy, he's come to investigate. How spectacular is this? So. 
This has just arrived straight from the florist in London of Floorwood. I hope that's the correct way of pronouncing it. It's like forward, but with flower or flowered. Not sure. A oh, flowered. Yeah, it's probably flowered. Silly me. I just can't quite believe it. This is, to give you an idea, like that's about a meter high of these incredible, humongous hydrangeas. And the best thing about this is that these are actually gonna dry out and stay looking this amazing. So this can be here all Christmas. I'm actually getting a bit emotional. This is just so incredible. As you know, we've got hydrangeas in our floral setup over on the fireplace. I mean, look at that. Look at that. I want to put some little festive bits, um, maybe like pine cones and bits down at the bottom here that would just look incredible. But what perfect timing ahead of the party, all of our friends coming over. I just, I can't quite believe this. This is so stunning. I'm actually not too sure what this is. It looks very like frosty and festive. I'm definitely gonna use my picture this app. But oh my gosh, what, what an incredible treat. Thank you so much to Floored, Flowered. <laughs> I think it's Flowered. Look at my boy, look at my ridiculous boy. Wow, so I've actually just checked my email and they have very kindly extended a discount code, which is Josie20, and that will enable you guys 20% off. So they are a luxury florist. Um, if you're based in London, they'll actually do same day delivery, which is so incredible. And they'll do next day courier delivery across the rest of the UK. As you can tell from this amazing structure, and this was done by their head florist, and these flowers have been bought in from Holland just for this display. Gosh, how lucky am I? Um, so yeah, you can order incredible structures like this. They do wedding flowers, they do wreaths. In fact, I think we have got a wreath from them. Charlie accepted the delivery, so I'm just gonna go and see where that is. And I believe you'll be able to use the Josie 20 code on the wreaths as well, but <laughs> I'm still just a little bit speechless. I don't wanna leave the entrance hall. I just want to take loads of pictures and sit here and stare at this. I can't get over quite how humongous these hydrangea heads are. And hydrangeas really are the best because they'll dry out and they'll stay looking this spectacular. And I think this foliage will, will as well. And it's all in. I don't know if I have to return this, um, this giant copper pot. Well, actually it's plastic, but it looks like copper. So maybe, maybe that's included, but wow. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you so much to flowered, floured. <laughs> Okay, and I believe this might be the wreath. So let's have a little look inside this box. We've had a few deliveries today, so I'm gonna do a little bit of unboxing with you because I have a feeling some might just be more birthday prezzies. Sorry, that was a very long time lapse because I was doing some stories as well. But my goodness, here it is. This is the frankincense and myrrh wreath. And I just checked on the website. This is 113 pounds, which having bought a few wreaths now, that is actually a really, really good price. Um, and I believe the Josie 20 code will work on this as well. You have got the most gorgeous little festive details, the pine cones, limes, um, the cinnamon. You've got all of these little details in here. You've even got some golden, ferns and furs running through. This is just spectacular and again it's going to dry out really beautifully so perfect timing darling. Well, Would you like to, well I think it's so beautiful, <clears throat> excuse the laundry, it should go up there. Should we yeah, try it for size? Yeah let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Christmas trees at Dalesford. Lala's checking out the special board. We've got a nice table right by the fire. <laughs> I can just about read it from here. And I've spotted mince pie with brandy butter down at the bottom. <laughs> oh yes. This has changed since I was last year. So we've got wooden estate venison and pheasant ragu. Turkey and noodle bone broth soup. Market garden soup of the day. Gravelax. Slow cooked beef. Turkey. Wow. Roast pumpkin, Greek style cheese and sage tart, beetroot pearl barley risotto. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Lala has gone for fish pie. 
Lovely and garden greens. That's a lovely way of presenting it. That's what um, Marco says. You should present your food in what you've cooked it in. Saves on washing up. Yeah. It's quite a big fish pie. Yeah. Yummy. I might have to have a little cookie bag. Yes, I'm sure they will. And I have got a beetroot risotto and a potato and leek gratin. Yummy. Okay, we're back from Dalesford. Charlie has been busy getting ready for the party. We've got some ice buckets filled with ice here ready to go. 12 bottles of Bollinger champagne. Lots of rosés, lots of beers. This is obviously just a small section. Um, and then we've got lots of nice non-alcoholic options. We've got this lovely selection of drinks from a company called Tame and Wild. This is blueberry, dandelion and lavender. I think most of these drinks, yes, sparkling berry and botanical infusion um these are all made up in yorkshire they are so delicious um what's this one rhubarb elderberry and rose but i think they've all got strawberry undertones they're absolutely scrumptious and the branding on them is just absolutely gorgeous and then we've also got um, some a local company coming to provide espresso martinis and bramble cocktails for our guests later. Hello darlings, it's a few hours later now and you can see Millie in the background. <laughs> Oh, Millie in the background on this side. Emily, I'll just show you in real life. Emily. And Emily on this side. I love. I've never had this before. Everyone getting ready in the dressing room. This is what I kind of dreamt of with this room. We'll get used to it. Yes, I love it. Charlie has been um, providing us with champagne, but we need we need a little top up, um, and we are getting ready for the evening. I've just added some curls. Finally done my makeup for the day, and I've got on the fabulous Costarellos. I've had to pop a little bit of. Um, leg makeup on because I did have a little bruise to cover but the party is starting our guests are arriving so we're gonna head downstairs um, and start the celebration hello editing Josie here I'm just editing the video and I'm very upset that I didn't film more on the party evening. That's literally the only footage that I took, but I always think if you don't film much, it means it was a really, really fun evening. I barely picked up my camera, um, barely got any photos as well. No one was on their phones because it was just such a fun evening. Um, but basically I wanted to explain Oh, hello. I wanted to explain what, ha what happened. Um, it was originally going to be a surprise party, but Sherlock over here figured out what was going on. We had 20 of our closest friends come over for cocktails at the house. We had a local company providing uh, serving espresso martinis and bramble cocktails which were delicious and lots of champagne. It was really really lovely and then after a couple of hours of everyone meeting and it was so nice that friends from all parts of my life got to meet last night for the first time, which was lovely. So I feel like we talk about our friends to our other friends so people could finally like put a face to a name. And it was just so lovely seeing how everyone got along together so well. And then we all went out for dinner. Charlie arranged a private room at a place near us called The Swan at Ascot under Witchwood. We had burrata, we had lots of wine, we had steak, we had mac and cheese. And then we came back here for more drinks and someone, I just, I don't, I had a lot to drink at this point, but someone was putting on, someone put on a 90s playlist and <laughs> it was just great fun, such a fun evening. Um, yeah, I'm sad I didn't film more, but we were just enjoying the night. It was the best night and the hangover wasn't too bad actually, but anyway, now I'll cut to the following, the morning after. And you've got very bad breath. <laughs> 